gotta stop doing that. <laughs> you give me a mild heart attack. You said I'm a hermit. I'm a hermit. So like when you do that, it scares me. What? When you like clap real loud, like it gives me like heart palpitations. You gotta stop that. You mean like a hermit, like a crab, or hermit no, like, like a person? I don't leave my house so when you do oh, that, okay. Okay, I was like, wait. <laughs> I know you guys be out there doing your life. Oh yeah. All right, Jesus. All right, people, we're back at it again with another back at it again. One more time. We got a special guest uh, for the third time, maybe? Is your third time here? I'm, I'm on that. We're going to be switching mics all day, so be ready for the handoff. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we out you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get this audio good. What about you? Target, right? Mm-hmm. Target? I think so. Yeah. All right, man. So, look. Is that's gonna go down? So I'm gonna give a set of arguments right now, and I just want you to, I want you to talk your shit, man. That's it. Um. I live with women. This is all I live or you know, if anything, I just switch mics with Chris. So you're right there. So yeah. you keep this. Oh yeah. Keep that. It looks expensive. It might not reach you. Huh? Oh, cause it's like hooked up. Bring the stand over here, right? Or is it gonna make too much shit? You're strong, Chris. You can leave it by yourself, bro. Uh, All right, so we had just gotten into a, a debate with Chris, right? I was I was telling Chris how I th- I feel like uh, if you're if you're a very pretty girl, right, you should give ugly guys or like the guys that like don't have confidence some confidence, some ego. You get me? Like some ego boost, right? It's like um, if if you never got no play, if you're like that guy who like, you know, like doesn't really have like that, I guess the confidence to even like talk to girls like that, you should be on the on the on the play, right? But he kept disagreeing with me, right? So I I, I want to get your thoughts. Do you think? Cause this is my thing. If a girl, right? I think that it's a girl making the community better. If she goes ahead and like gives the nerdy guy, you know what I'm saying? Like the guy who doesn't really get no too much play, she gives him some attention. It's gonna bring his ego up. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna make him like kind of function a little bit better in life. So I mean, I don't know what 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 you what you thinking? Um, this is this is like every, I don't like every time I come here, he gives me like deep talks, and then I go home and I start thinking about what you guys are talking about. But it's I think it's hilarious how the pretty boy doesn't want the pretty girls to give uh, guys a chance to keep all the girls to yourself. I like that. I, I, I like <laughs> Excuse me, what? You're, you're a very divide and conquer person. Like you're just like yo, you know what? All you girls are mine. All you broke guys, like yo, go get a job. Like I don't like that. That's First of all, we broke out here, homie. What I like, well, you gotta really like um, pick specifically what type of guys because you said the nerdy guys because the nerdy guys are gonna win in the end. Well, That's what we're saying, like, Silicon honestly, Valley, right? Yeah, I may not look good now, but like in two years, like I'll be your boss. And then I, I you ever seen like those little memes or like you see those guys where like yeah. they're like super successful and then like the pretty girl in, like eighth grade who has like three kids now and then boom. Yeah, she like broke. No, but okay, but it's not, not necessarily like the smart guy who's gonna make it in life. I mean, it could it because you could be the nerdy guy who works at an office. And like you still, you know what I'm saying? Like you can work at an office and be like the regular nine to five dude who makes you know fifty thousand dollars a year, and like Sounds that's like it. Life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, yeah, to some people, but I'm saying if they're like the nerdy guy though, who's not really gonna be talking to girls, then it doesn't really like play out that well, right? Well, I mean, we live in the in the world. Just take yeah, it off. You guys are messing the curtains up. Those are good curtains. Um, honestly, I feel like. Well, well, we live in a. I, I feel like I don't know about you, since you guys like talk to girls more. I feel like we live in a in a mindset where girls like assholes. Mm-hmm. So like and uh, uh, like not ugly guys. So I don't feel like yo, that's kind of mean. But like, not like the best looking guys or like the nicest guy in the world. And girls so don't. You guys are really ugly people. No, I don't say it's like. I just feel like that's mean. Like everybody, like I don't want to be like the sappy guy. Like, oh, everybody good looks good to somebody. But like, I mean, like wow. Like, Cause like I think there's. I think everyone's beautiful. I don't, I don't think, think you say. I don't think <laughs> you get regular haircuts. Right? I, I know. I don't think everyone is pretty or ugly. Does, does you know it remind you of that one politician that you can't trust when he smiles? That's who you are. You're the one guy's gonna like, yeah, take over yeah, office. Yeah, that's, that's what you said last time. I would not believe nothing you said. Damn. Damn. I feel hurt. Are you give me that face like the like the purge face. Like yeah, oh, come with no. me. I I said I said the thing with Chris is that Chris has pretty boy privilege. Yes. You know, so for him, he's like he said he did he wouldn't want to get that pity from girls because it feels like it's pitiful. But I'm saying, yeah, you feel that way because you get play from we girls. Like like girls. To you. Look, we talk you, about the look park. I told him he gets exactly. I told him he gets the most cleanest compliment. You know what the cleanest compliment is from an old lady. If an old lady tells you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You're you're handsome. 
problem. That's, 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 a, that's the best. Yes, it is because old people don't care. Okay, but it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. That is so true. If they want to hook you up with their daughter, granddaughter, or niece, you know it's real. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, honestly, like, I just saying, like, we can't, uh, we can't talk to you guys. Like, honestly, we just can't. Like, look at you guys. Like, you guys are good looking, man. I agree that so George go, is a pretty like, boy. down the street, like, go walk around to the gas station, find some guys who, like, you know what I'm saying, don't get the same attention. Okay, okay, okay. But, okay, think about it like this, though. The guy who's not getting attention, right? If there's a girl that's super pretty and she comes and she gives him some ego boost, you get me? He's going to feel like, oh, shit, you know, that, that that's going to make his day. He's going to feel like, oh, shit, you know, maybe I could get girls like this. And that, and that might take him out of his shell to go and talk to more girls. A haircut would change your life. A haircut could change your life. Change your life. I mean, it just depends on. No, no, but we're not talking about looks, though. We're talking about the the dude who doesn't have confidence. We like, like for example, look, we started off saying about like a guy who was at the bar, right? Girls will let a guy buy her drinks all day at the bar, but not give him the number, nothing. You know what I mean, it's like she's using the guy the entire time, and it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And if you think about it, that's fucked up. But in essence, you have yeah, every right to do I it. Feel like cool. Some girl, like a lot of girls are evil. Like, okay, no, listen, listen, because I've had instances where I've had friends who are not the best looking guys, I'm sorry, you know who you are, but, like, the pretty girl will just give him attention just so she can get benefits from him, and then he'll be okay with just the attention. That's, that's, that's no, that's but not no, okay. that's pity. It's that's account. horrible. Like, oh, daughter's like, what are you doing? That's horrible. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and then uh, those guys get violent. Time out, time out. I've been taking, like, four dates, and then she tells everything. No, uh, no, 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 that, that's different now, that's different. You're saying she's using him for the money. That that's that's completely that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying like this, okay? Go up to the guy who who you know is nerdy okay. and give him a compliment. Okay, okay. But, you know, but, go but, have right, coffee but with, but don't compl- use but, him. Okay, but what does a compliment do? Okay, check this out. Or it makes somebody uh, a beautiful day. girl, right? A beautiful okay. drop that gorgeous girl does not live around here. Okay, right? Boom, drop that gorgeous. She goes, oh, you know, I like your shirt the way, you, and then boom, right? Yeah. And then he'll be like, oh, okay, and then she like leaves, and then she tries it again, and again, and again. And then when the guy finally gets the confidence, ask her, she says, no, then what? No, 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 okay. Time out. This is what I'm saying. Let's say you're at work. I'll give you something, right? You're at work. You work at an office. Yeah, you know that this work. dude is... Oh, we're going to talk to you at work. No, and, and, and let's say you know the dude that doesn't really have that much confidence, right? Kind of nerdy, you Can know, you whatever. Some signs of somebody who doesn't have confidence? Well, that, that kind of depends. You know I mean? You might be... Uh, so signs of guys that doesn't have confidence, like let's say posture could play a role into it. The way you dress could play a role into it. If you're a slob, could play a role into it. Like you don't care about your image. That could play a role into it. Because, you know, confidence is everything. Like, you know, it's, a, it's an aura within you, but it also represents something physical within so you. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, like, you know, if you stand up straight, you're dressed properly, you know, like, the, all of that it exudes some type of confidence. I'm not saying that you need all those things to be confident. Like, you could be, like, a, for that rock stars aren't necessarily, like, the most cleanest looking guys, but those motherfuckers exceed some type of confidence, it's right? Kind of messed up. Huh? It's kind of messed up. Well, I'm, but I'm just saying that like, it, it, it's, a, it's a certain look. So there might be a guy who you know is kind of dorky, kind of nerdy. Because we're talking about the Silicon Valley guys. Okay, sure, they're going to end up getting money, but not every guy is going to end up in that position. You get me? So the guys that don't end up in that position, what, we just leave them with no confidence forever? No, that's fucked all up. Right, if but, you're a girl, what, you have right, pretty privilege. Why, why, okay. Use your pretty privilege to uplift okay, some people. You know what I'm the, saying? What, okay, what if the guy doesn't <laughs> trust girls? Like, it's he's had, like He's had, like, for example... Maybe we think about how he got to be that way. Because nobody comes out the womb like, yo, I don't care about life. Like, like it's a process. Like, how did that guy get to be like that? Like, what happened to him? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, no, this is the thing. So, it always starts off from middle school, high school, right? The guys who are getting the most play is... Oh, mate, eh, not really. In elementary school, we're all equals. We're all equals. We, no. Yeah, because in elementary school, we're not looking at you girls tell like... whose mom cares about in elementary school. No, but you're not yeah. thinking about that. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. You were thinking about that? I'm, I'm, I'm taking naps. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but in elementary school, we're all equal. We don't care. Like, yo, we're going to play football. We, we don't care about that. Once you get to middle school, high school, the pretty girls date the jocks or the athletes. The pretty girls not dating the guy who's the captain of the math club or something like that, right? It's, it's usually That's usually not how it he goes. doing her homework, though. Sure. But that's... Well, time out. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe he's doing his homework. Maybe. Okay. It, 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 dep- it depends. What okay. kind of homework are we talking about? You know, it depends. No, I'm talking about, yo, straight A's. No, uh, but the, po- the point here is that, that it starts off like that. The guy now sort of feels like, okay, now for me to get to that level, for me to get girls, I need to be like these guys. But I'm not gifted like that. So you kind of go on your whole life kind of lacking that confidence that you can get girls like that. When you could, right? You, you definitely could. You don't have to be a super athlete. You could. But you kind of start living your life into a sense like, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to get these kind of girls. So, like, why even try? Why even try to go for it? But in reality, if the girl just gave just gave you a compliment, just made All you right, feel bro. like you might have a chance, that might give you that, that like... How about, like, having your own friends back you up? 
to the point where you can get to the confidence to go shoot that shot. Nah, nah, that's not that's not good. Why not? That's not good. Well, because okay, so what do you mean? What do you mean in essence? So I could kind of because right, what I'm listening is like you're saying, oh. Yo, go shoot your shot, bro. We got your back. Because no, you did that to me many no. times and it's failed. You have no proof. You have no oh, proof. yes. The, no the thing is that I don't care because I could just come Literally. back and, you know. <laughs> what I mean is, like, yo, just having friends who, like, support you. Like, yo, like, don't let you get into that space of mindset. Because, like, a lot of times, like, okay, pretty girls don't have to, like, give you anything. Like, they get all the attention you want. You're, like, the 80th guy to say hello that morning. So, like, they don't need mm-hmm. to give you anything. So, right. and realistically, honest, I feel like, those girls are the ones that are like the most alone, in my opinion. Because, let like those are the, okay. For example, those girls, right? Yeah, yeah. They get so much attention. They, like, yeah. Those they end up with the asshole that mm-hmm. like ruins them forever. And right. They don't trust anybody and all this and that. Right. I would say just stay away from those girls. Well, to be honest, that's kind of what we're talking about, though. I was telling him. I think pretty people get too much credit. First of all, I was saying I think more people need to need to date. Why are you pointing at me? Do your hair, bro. More people need to date the ugly girl because the ugly girl's been through struggles. You know what I'm saying? She's been made fun of. She's been scrutinized. Right, well, she ugly? What do you, well, I mean, by society standards, what I'm trying to get at. You know what I mean? Like, maybe she's not fit. Maybe her hair is, like, fucked up. Maybe she doesn't have the greatest face. Like, I don't know. It could be a number. Th- maybe she has ashy ankles no matter what she does. You know? Like, who knows? It could be a that's number cool. of things. Ashy ankles. That's got a problem. Like, we wear, like, school pants. Like, that's terrible. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, <laughs> you're walking around like this. Yes, but it could be a number of things that make you not attractive. Like, uh, you know, to, like, the masses, right? In, in, in essence. You have to hear it. You have to hear it. I, I like you. When you start talking, I feel like I, like, gain more knowledge. But what what do you want me to tell you? I I completely disagree with George. I think any kind of compliment that is not sincere, that is not honest, is pitiful. It's like like for example, if I go, you look nice, but I don't mean it. But I don't mean it. Do you really? Most people can tell, right? Most people can tell when somebody's being fake, right? So like, if I were to say like, oh, this person's really nice, but you're gonna be like, yeah, he doesn't mean it. You're not gonna feel better. It's not gonna improve. Your so if you're doing it for the sake of being nice, I think it's pitiful and I think it's pointless. That's what I'm getting at. I'm getting. I feel like it will not boost anybody's confidence. It's just gonna be like, oh, she's a nice person, cool. You know, maybe like if I end up shooting this school, I won't kill her. But yeah. like that's probably this it. It won't. A social experiment. You guys are like wasting your potential. I honestly think you guys should like take this on the road and like go to like the like the mall or something and talk to women because like well, that'd be you, crazy. Obviously you can't. But <laughs> like, yo, like, what are you doing here? Yeah, okay. okay. So l- l- look at it like this, right? For for a moment. So you're saying that it's pity, but the guy doesn't know that it's pity. No, he'll know. Trying to get at. Can no. I can I guy figure out it's pity? No. No. no, not necessarily because the thing is that okay, girls, you have this thing, right? Where you can make a guy feel some type of way, right? Like if you get the attention from the girl you want to get attention from, that shit makes your day. You know what I mean? Like it'll really be like, oh damn, like okay, cool, like I actually like I, I could get this girl, like. Just, just you thinking that you can achieve it. It's like it's like when people say if somebody who looks like you has made it in life or is successful in life, then you can make it too. That is like it's like you see like you know you're a Hispanic person. You see like a Sofia a Vergara or like or uh, I don't know whoever <laughs> like make it. You feel like oh shit okay like I have a chance to make it. Also, it's the same shit if a girl comes up to you right and you don't usually get this girl. But you feel like, oh, shit, like, I might have a chance to get this girl. That shit might just be enough to get your sh- your juices flowing for you to get some confidence and be like, shit, I'm okay, I'm out, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm out here. We out here. You know, know what I'm saying? I Live, living this life. I, I, I feel like... ruin that guy's day. I, I <laughs> feel like... Look, okay. I feel like any confidence that does not come from within mm-hmm. is not going to shift any way, anything. Even how, how do you build that? Not from a pretty girl telling me hi. Yes. No way, bro. Okay, 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 okay. But what about you working on yourself first? No, no, okay. No, first of all, all those things should be happening anyway. So, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. But how do we get the guy who doesn't have any ambition to work on himself at all? You get me? Like, Because think about, look, a girl, if that girl comes up to that guy, right, and be like, hey, you know, we should go out for a coffee date, right? We should go out on a dinner date one of these days. I guarantee you the guy who Wait, doesn't comb his hair normally. What, what grade are we talking about here? What do you mean? Like, what grade are you? Oh, 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 it doesn't oh, like in Avery. I'm not going anywhere. Well, of course, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, dinner day's not happening. Oh, clearly, clearly. What's <laughs> we'll about as, as grown people for an example, right? We'll like give an example. Twenty-four. Sure. Okay, and we say, hey, you know, we should go out for a dinner date. You know, why not? 
I think that is a girl. As a girl, you're helping out the community by doing that. Check my bank account first. Sure. Because honestly, I feel like no, but doesn't mean that you have to. to Like a palacio de jugo. You know, let's talk about that for a minute. You know, um, let's talk about that for a minute. Do you think that a pretty girl? You you think that when you're with a pretty girl, you need to cough out that money? Because I be thinking that all the time. Like I feel like if I go on a date with a pretty girl, it's almost like this like like fuck like i gotta like i can't drive my car because my car has no bumpers bummy so you gotta you know like yeah, yeah i feel like yo i i can't i will probably avoid a date with a pretty girl because i feel like i'm not like at that level to even go pick you up and like i feel like shit i probably gotta go meet you better so that way you don't even see what i'm dealing with like what you, you I, that's what i'll be feeling if yeah. I get a really pretty girl, I, I ain't gonna lie i think the same thing i think like um we have to find a place that you know like if I if I take you somewhere, it has to be somewhere creative, because my budget don't align to what I think you want. Right, right. So I'm gonna be like, yo, and I'm picking you up. I'm like, let's just meet up. Let's keep it casual. Exactly. You know, exactly. like obviously my excuse is gonna be like, let's keep it casual, no pressure. Yeah. But my reality is like, yo, I can't pick you up. I just crack my window, my Fiat, and it's like real. Right, right. Like like you you don't want like to. It's almost like this this like embarrassing thing. It's, yeah. it's, it's almost like you feel. But you know what the funny thing is though. But that pretty girl. She might be in worse conditions than you are. Yeah, but you you, you assume pretty people are doing well off. Exactly. Which you you call me out on that. Remember where yeah. the you like? Yeah. Oh, you think all pretty people? Because I saw some pretty pretty girls. Like, yeah. I wouldn't expect you to drive that car. When you said that, I was like, I don't think so. But you know, I guess like thinking about it is like, yeah, you, you know, you you might be right. We actually. we assume yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. people are successful. Yeah, like you might be right. I was like, fuck, I, I wouldn't really want to go on the day with a pretty girl. And it's like, yo, you know, I I don't really got it like that, you know, because I'm I'm honestly feeling like, yo, people hitting you up are balling balling. No, know? but I think that that exposes our our, our high school mindset, like. Most of us are still living in high school, way after high school. Like, yeah. you assume pretty people have it popping, and you assume ugly people are don't. And those right, ugly right. people, ugly people, quote unquote, right, yeah. um, are doing well off and they're cool. I mean, and then pretty people, no, which is what Julian people. says. No, what Julian says, which is like, it's true. Like, you see that pretty girl ends up like working in a diner with three kids or whatever. Right, right. Well, but that, that happens too. That, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the thing. No, that but I'm saying, like, like, the whole idea is, you know, we have this, this misconception that looks equals success. Well, but ex- but that that brings me back now to what I was saying though. Which pretty doesn't boost people, people. We give too much credit to pretty people. Pretty, we think pretty people are out here flourishing, popping. But no, the real people out here flourishing, popping are the ugly people because those are the people that have to go through struggles. Like, th- look, think about it. The whole point of like Navy SEALs Hell Week, right? You're Navy SEALs Hell Week, right? You gotta pick up logs. You're like they're drowning you in the ocean. You're freezing. You're running, and you make it. That's what makes your Navy SEALs. You know what I mean? The motherfuckers who failed is like, or the motherfuckers who didn't even have to go through. It's like, man, you've been on. You 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 don't know what struggle is. You know what I mean? The people that make it out of struggle on the other end, those are the people that you might want to pay more attention to, because pretty people get too much credit. We get too much credit. I don't know about we that. We get too much. <laughs> we. He's like, I'm going to his chest in there. We did that. We did oh, that. Oh, man. You're wild, nah, bro. I'm, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. But it's the truth. I think pretty people. Look, like, you get too much credit. You're pretty. You get too much credit. You know how many girls look at you like, damn, bro. Like yes. zero girls. Literally. Yeah, like get the zero fuck out of here, man. Stop Even Fatima's going to look at me like, oh, yeah, okay. I like you. I ain't going to lie. Fatima's your biggest cheerleader. <laughs> I say that shit all the time. Yo, I've never seen a girl. Like, you say anything about Chris, and that nigga's like, nah, bro. Like, you, you say, nah, Chris, you short. Nah, Chris, like, 6'8". Like, no, he's not. Chris, you skinny. Nah, Chris about, you know, bench about 305. Like, wait, what? Like, I, I go to the gym with that guy. I know yes. you know. Yes. It's like, nah, but Fatima is a cheerleader, my nigga. She yeah. about that life. She but even she'd be like, nah, you kind of ugly. Nah, get the fuck out of here. She would never tell that in your life. You tell her that. <laughs> you be like, you, no, you don't say she's kind of ugly. You be like, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. It's but, true. But you know why you do that? Because you have the same mentality I have right now about pretty people getting too much credit. No, no, First of all, let me no, tell you no, no, no. Fatima no, no. Is, the, is, is literally a representation of what ugly struggles like. Because Fatima she was not it. a pretty girl. She, oh, she was hideous. Yeah, she, she was, was not hideous. a pretty girl, she but she it. turned pretty. Yeah, she but what happens it. when you turn pretty? Your ego gets up there, right? Yeah. Uh, is, is, is she, does she not have ego? Facts. Exactly. But you know what but the why? problem is? The problem is, is the, and I go back to it every time, is the ducks. Yo, this, you don't understand how many dudes be chasing this girl. But okay, but at the end of the day, yo, you be chasing Fatima like girls, crazy. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, yo, but like, well, like these you, guys, you think if Fatima went to like some ugly guy and she went, you are very cute. Okay, okay. that would make a difference. Look, the, 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 this was the thing I was saying right now. You calling these guys ducks, right? I told you. What do we do with ducks? We give them bread. Right? We we go with our grandmas. Our grandmas take us to the lake to, to give us bread. Yes. Listen, listen. If you're if you if Fatima 
were to uh, give some of the ducks that you say the time of day, that shit will make them feel so fucking good. It'll make them feel like, holy shit, I might get Yo, this Yo, you girl. think that would work? You think that works? I, I honestly like, don't think I that works. Like you guys should just test this out. Like, I don't, I don't see the problem. Let, let's, we're going to do this on the road. We're going to take Fatima. And we're gonna have her go compliment random guys that well, we don't that we find are not it. it too. Okay. Like you gotta do it too. You gotta do it too. What, what do you mean? Do you guys gotta go and compliment uh, ugly girls. Not ugly girls. Um, oh, we'll no, no, no. First of all, first of all, wait, wait. first of all. Yes or no? Would know. you not make a girl's day if a girl that is considerably oh. is not considerably pretty? First and of you, all, and you, pretty boy Chris, goes up to that girl all, with that little smile you got. First you know what I'm saying? Of saying? All, Look I her in her eyes. You know what I'm saying? Well, come at your smile. Like, come at your smile. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look her in her eyes and tell her and tell her some some little witty first shit that you always come all, up with. You're not going to make her day? First of all, don't uh, I compliment girls all the time? Yeah, and what do they do? They ask for your home No, they just find this strange. <laughs> they, find it, they find this strange because they think I'm trying to hit on them. That's what happens. Yeah. But that's my point. My point is, I've even done it with girls that we don't consider attractive. You see me compliment girls I don't consider attractive wait, wait, all the time. Listen, listen. There's, there, there's another thing. Girls will act like, oh, he's just trying to hit on me. Bro, girls need to stop acting like if you didn't get that attention. Like, girls girls say this shit like this. Girls like, oh, I, w- I remember I was talking to one of my friends. She's like, oh, I would trade that attention for a good man, right? Like for a good- Yeah, but you're saying that because you get attention. Yeah, if, if you, you don't get attention, didn't get attention, yeah. you will not be saying that shit. Yeah, you get yeah, what I'm sure, saying? Sure. So that's, that's what I'm saying. The, the girls that be like, oh, you're just trying to hit on me. Yeah, because you get attention all the time. Stop complimenting pretty girls. Start complimenting the ugly girls. Oh, don't get I no compliment attention. girls all the time, regardless. So you compliment ugly girls? Yeah, all the time. Like what? Who? Like for well, not who? <laughs> don't tell me. That. <laughs> don't tell me who specifically. I fucked Imagine up. Imagine if I start names out here. Like I just realized you guys are playing a very dangerous game. Yo, extremely listen, dangerous. Listen, listen. You see why? I don't want to say nothing, but there be some girls. Now I'm not like I'm not saying anything like yo, but I'm saying like <laughs> I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying we're like not like I'm not saying ugly, but like yo, <laughs> and then like you give them like attention, and they're like on fire for like, the next three months. Like they'll be like, oh, don't talk to me. I'm on another different record right now. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. That, that's no, not healthy. That no, isn't healthy. You're playing very yeah, dangerous. Stay, 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 stay okay, dangerous. okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. It is, and I'm going to tell you why. Because they, yo, for years, they've been oppressed army. for years. No. Uh, you have Kim Kardashian, no, Kylie understand. Jenner's telling them okay. that if you don't look like me, then you can't get no motherfucking Kanye there's, West. There's you difference. can't get no Justin Bieber's. No. Yes. We, all, we have that now. What do you mean? Okay, look, if you go by the number bracket. Right, like yo, one to ten, right? Okay. It's different for guys because we're like, yo, we don't care. Like we'll just take whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For girls, most part, yeah, yeah. They'll be like, yo, I'm not sick. Yo, I, I'm six four. I don't care. Like, yo, look, you'll take like a girl. <laughs> He's actually so. First of all, you can never. Let me tell you, when you can never downplay, it's like I'm six four. You know, ain't, ain't no big deal. Like no, crap, no like, big deal. You know, ah. Exactly. That that don't mean no. But I'm, I'm not saying like yo. There'll be like some girls who are like a four or five and Chris will come be like, oh my God, you're the most, you, your mother raised you so well. You look great. Yeah, yeah. And then she's automatically an eight in her head. That's good. No, it's not. Yes. No, we, it's not. People need to start thinking like that. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there's nothing wrong with like big up in girls, but then those girls start giving guys like no time of the day. Oh, for sure. And they, they, they can become the rudest people ever. No, no, tell me. And it, then, if you're no, an asshole, it's different if you're an asshole, but that's just no, trying, trying to turn you into an asshole. If you're going to do something you're going to regret. Okay, for example, take Chris, right? Take Chris and put him in Put him in our high school. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Oh crap! No, you remember that one girl? Oh, I know exactly where you're getting at. I know exactly where you're getting at. Yes, yeah, okay. yes. I know exactly where you're getting at. Talk to that girl. Like, yeah. First of all, Chris. oh no, 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 he, no, no, no. You know why Chris shouldn't do do that though? Because that girl already had too much confidence. That's that why. Was, that guy, That's, all, okay, look. God he's he's talking about a girl, heart. right? There's a girl in high school who, that honestly, and no disrespect, but with all disrespect, that girl was not pretty. That was an ugly girl. I'm, Again, that, that was not a very pretty girl. You get me? Uh-huh. So she's dancing, right? And, you know, the auditorium is turning up. It's like a pep rally. And we're all, like, mm-hmm. chilling. Yay! <laughs> and we're, we're chilling, you know, hanging out with the guy, talking shit, right? She thought we were looking at her. So she comes up to us like, oh, stop looking at me. Like, she's basically oh, saying, like... Yeah, 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 like, 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 like she did, like, like she was sexy. Yeah, 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 she was like, oh, like, y'all ain't getting none of this type shit, right? Those kind of girls are not what I'm fucking talking about. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that, like, was she, like, faking Actually, this was confidence? Actually, she, was she, no, 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 well, first of all, no, she wasn't faking that. She was for real. She was, like, she was yo, her, you see her face? She was not fucking around. Like, this girl, her she had mind like, was Kylie yeah. fucking Jenner. Oh, she was, yeah, yeah. No, 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 time out, time out. But this, no, but that's different because she's an asshole. Though. Like, yo, there's plenty of pretty people who are not assholes. Yeah, you know I mean, there's people they know they're pretty, but that doesn't. You're an asshole because you're an asshole. You could be ugly, pretty, doesn't matter. 
But, but those are the kind of people that I'm not talking. You should not give those kind of people the time of day because they already have all the confidence in the fucking world. They they need to give some of that confidence away. You know what I mean? If anything, you know what I'm saying? If anything, those are the girls that we need to disrespect a little bit more. You gotta check them. Yeah, yeah, we need to disrespect them a little bit more. Like, man, you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really that pretty. What do you mean? Nah, wait, 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 not you talking about the girl in the auditorium is the guy no, who has no, six no, five. Like, saying, the girls, the pretty girls, you, okay, like the pretty girls, you say, oh, I want to disrespect those girls. All the girls have like the most guys on them, and they just be like, yo, I'm like, yo. Yeah, but but honest, I ain't gonna lie, disrespect. You get what I'm saying? Disrespect, like, disrespect is like that. that <laughs> Well, you know, you you see a girl and like, why is she getting so many attention? You basically disrespect girls all the time. Well, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Look, you be on this tip. Yeah, she's getting all the attention. I'm not looking her way. That's disrespectful. Yeah, that's, a, that's disrespectful. I have a question. Wait, wait. Before the question. It's not disrespect because what I'm trying to do is I'm playing the game. No, no. This is a hunt. No, no. This is a hunt. This is a hunt. This is... What I'm doing is... That girl is walking into the room thinking I have every motherfucker in here looking at me, right? When she sees that they're that one guy that's not looking at her, her ego gets checked. This is when you know shit matters because she's now she doesn't give a shit about every other guy. She gives a shit about the motherfucker who's not looking at her because she's like, why the fuck are you not? Everybody's looking at me. Why the fuck are you not looking at me? I'm trying to get your attention because my validation comes not from you. That's the fucking problem. Now, I'm playing the game as I'm not trying to take you home, but I'm not going to give you the time of day to look at you because you're looking for that validation and you're not going to get that validation from me, sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to call you sweetheart. No, 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 but that's not disrespect, though. No, that's the game. Because... Because you have all the fucking attention in the world. Why? Every motherfucker in here is looking at you. Because you're basically trying to humble her down, so you're disrespecting. You're saying, yo, you ain't it, homie. Like, it ain't a bunch of big deal. Like, I, not, I'm not humbling you down. What I'm doing is I'm trying to turn you over now. That's all I'm trying to do. So now, so now you become an attention... You that are an attention seeker are not going to be an attention giver. And that's what I need you to be. Because it's not fair that everybody's giving you some attention. You got to give some of that shit back. You're getting good energy. Start giving some of that energy fucking back. That's what you need to do. So is, is that humbling Hashtag, you? I'll give you what you love sure. Too. Like if you want to call it humbling, sure. Let's call it humbling. But that we need that in the ecosystem. We need, if you get good energy, you need to start giving that shit back. And that's what I'm trying to get at. These girls that are fucking beautiful. So she's sliding. All this attention, they should slide to start giving that shit right back. They got to slide into those DMs where the dude got like three followers and all of them are nah, here. Not, no, no, they don't do that because we have too many creeps on him. I'm talking about in real. This needs to happen in real life. You know what I'm saying? This needs to happen in real life. <laughs> you see what I'm saying here, Julie? There's inconsistencies to everything here, bro. No, no, man. It's, it's You're not. You're get some people murdered. It's not inconsistencies. This is, I'm talking about this. What I'm talking about, this interaction needs to happen between between girls in real life. You know okay, this can I ask you a happen? question? Sure. Have you guys ever seen this in person? Like, have you seen beautiful, gorgeous women like do this? No, that's a problem. That's a, no, like, like disrespecting listen, people. Like, have you ever seen it? Uh, beautiful women disrespecting people in what way? Like, like, get, like, for example, being kind of rude or like negative. Oh yeah, all the time. oh yeah, you see, oh yeah, all the time, all the time. I see girls that are like super stuck up, like yeah, yeah, yeah. super stuck up all the time. No, no, no. I, not, I mean, like girls that, like, in my opinion, are not that attractive, but they think they're that attractive, and right, you can right. tell yeah. because they be on that tip. Like, I got it, you know. Like today, some girl, I'm standing in line. Actually, today, some girl, I'm standing in line. And she goes, I'm, I'm standing in the line normally because I go to coffee places every time. Yeah. So I'm standing in my line with my business. She's like, I was there first. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I just get moving. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. got no rush. But she looked at me like shocked that I didn't care. Okay. That so I didn't care yeah, yeah. about her. I was like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of girls I can't stand. No, no. First of all, yeah. Yeah, there's all those, those kind of girls like that will act rude and stuck up all the fucking time. Yeah, you know, there's girls that you might go up to them to warn them about like some shit. Like you might go to a girl and warn her about like stepping over a puddle. And she thinks you're flirting. And yeah, she gonna think like, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't got time for you or something like that. Like, yo, that's like time out, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, your shit stink too, bro. Okay? You get me? Like you go to the bathroom just like everybody else. Don't act yeah, like no, you above. Yeah, some girls, yeah, some girls you know be saying? tripping. Yeah, some girls be acting like they're above shit. Like, no, no the fuck you're not. Okay, so you guys are hypocrites, 100%. Because like, you guys are talking about always oh, doing shit. You guys don't do that either. Do you guys don't go be confident in these women. I compliment women. Uh, first of all, you I've never seen you do it. You uh, chill with me in public places. I compliment people randomly for no reason. No, no. The, the what my whole point is that women have this thing where they can make a guy. A woman has the power to turn a bum into a CEO. Okay. <laughs> yes, a woman has a power. You see to what I have to do deal with, that. Julian? You see listen, what I have to do with? Listen, think about this shit for a minute. You know how many guys 
or not the not shit guys, the bum guys, a woman comes into their life and now this motherfucker's out here flourishing in business, you know what I'm saying? He has his he has his me look at Gucci. Gucci was out here in these streets disrespecting girls. Gucci shredder drinking bro. Lean. Gucci ripped. His girl held him down. Took first of all, his girl took his money and tripled his money, right? Over her business. His girl got him on a diet, cooks for him. Gucci right now has flawless skin, is he shredded. Has money. Why? Because he had a girl who made him go from a bum to a good uh hey, he has a book. And even though he might be, yeah, sure. He might be a little bit, you know, he's gonna need some work. No, no, he wasn't. First of all, yeah, Gucci wasn't losing when he was Gucci fat. Was just he's just winning more money. now. First of all, Gucci was losing. Do, do, do not acclimate money to, to wins. I understand what you mean by he was winning in the sense of his career. I understand that. But he was losing because he was drugged up, tweeting like crazy. That's not win. That's, that's losses. That's what he does. Well, well, that's that's what he does. No, but that's bad, though. You could have died of an overdose, I mean, left your kids it? out here in these streets. His his wife changed that. Yeah, but like, so, you're, so, so what you're saying is what a I'm good saying, woman can like change the yes. whole direction of your life. Yo, girls get too much attention you need to understand okay. that girls get way especially now in the day of social media girls get way too much I look like look no, 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 yeah, yeah girls get way too much attention even if you're ugly yo, let me tell you something if you're considered an ugly girl or whatever i'm bro all you gotta do is go outside and you're gonna get laid that's it for a girl all you gotta do is go outside for a guy no nah, bro. You, you better you better work you get me is that too many guys that could just go outside so and just get we're laid? not starting with the same soil here no okay. no girls definitely have an advantage guys are way more hornier and way more competitive that's why guys guys don't come fast. Well, guys we, are just competitive. Well, we just, well, we just, but we care less. Huh? We care less. Yeah, but look, look, look let, let's get on that realm. Guys don't come fast, really. They're just competing. You know that, right? Like, if you really think about it, like, yeah, no, no, it's like the guys are so competitive. They don't realize that when they get into that motion, it's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna come before you come. That's a competitive thing. Right, most guys in this in this world, if you really think about it, are always competitive. Right, it's that alpha male mentality. Like I gotta be the top dog. I gotta be there first. I gotta get to the top of the mountain first. Yeah, my mom might see this. What do you think? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> right. Yo, this is what I do. Right? No, no. Listen. It, it, so am, what? What I'm saying? Am I lying? Think about how many guys are like, oh, I'm just trying to get my. I'm. I'm I'm just trying to get my nut off and go home. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, What's that? Yeah, yeah. That's a competition. Yeah. A competition. Because if, yeah. if, 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 if you... It's listen, like fishing. It's like if fishing. you make her come and you didn't come yet, you're in trouble. Because that, that right there is like... You're in very dangerous waters. You make her come, you already making her like live in this world of like, oh man, like this guy made me feel a way that not everybody can make me feel because again like you know not every girl gets to that point but let me ask so, you a question now no, I just thought about it okay. so like you know we're talking about you saying you can continue saying that girls should make that ugly duckling feel special right sure sure but if a guy did that to a girl wouldn't we be saying like he's taking advantage of her low self esteem okay so you're saying that like if, it, I, if no, a good looking guy it depends though if he's using her for something though like if he if he's trying to like bag it that's what you mean no like if he just be like if he's just trying to boost her confidence boosting her confidence isn't but you're not going against her self esteem though unless you're trying unless unless you're trying to like sleep no her but I'm like I'm that. saying like for example look uh, guys dude girls who like confidence a guy tells a good looking guy says hi she's ready to go oh but that's that that's a character flaw you gotta you gotta have worth yeah, that's my point. My point is the same thing applies for men. Man I can't just be like, "Oh, this pretty girl told me now nah, my whole ego no, no, no. confidence is ready." It, like, nah, yes, bro. Yes, yes, yes. Nah. Listen, because nah. guys got to work for girls. Girls don't have to work for guys. That's the difference. A yeah. girl, a girl goes outside, but a girl's just present in the. Listen, you could get the ugliest girl in the world, and it wouldn't matter because any guy will sleep with her. You, know, you guys just started every romantic comedy script ever in the world. Like, That's awesome. Romance come That's how it always starts. <laughs> like guys, like you'll be arguing, like yo, you see that pretty girl? You know, she, anybody can do it. And then Chris will be like, you know what? Let's shake hands. And you guys shake hands, and then Chris changes her life. They get married, three kids, they get divorced. That's that's the whole script. God damn. I have a question. Okay. Who do you think takes more advantage of the looks, guys or girls? Girls. girls. Are you want me to elaborate? Yeah, okay. Elaborate. I need you to elaborate. So look, look, look at what girls do, right? Girls spend hours. Doing their makeup, doing their hair, making sure their clothes is right, all of this shit, right? For what? Yeah, 
it's all about attention. That's it. It's all about attention. Guys don't even give a shit about how they... Y'all seen guys at the office don't give a shit about how they look. Wrinkle shirt, no haircut for months, ha- haven't shaved in forever. They don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers don't give a shit. Like, mo- if you think about it, it's now that we're entering the age of, like, guys caring about grooming, guys caring about how they look. It's more... It's, right. It's, it's more of a today type of shit. Women have been doing this shit for years. You know what I mean? Think about it. There is science to girls doing, like, you know, accentuating parts of them that, like, uh, hinder this, like, almost like a, like an essence of, like, attraction to guys, right? Like, if a woman highlights her eyes in a certain way, that... You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like if a woman highlights her eyes and the way color she uses and shit like that, you can attract guys by certain shit that you highlight. Motherfuckers don't highlight shit. Think about that. The fade. The fade. Huh? That's the only thing they highlight. A fade. And who's a fade for? A fade. A, a girl doesn't even care about a fade. Your homie cares more about your fade than a girl. Oh, your homie cares more about your tape than anything. A guys get fade so they don't get ranked. And tapes so they don't get ranked. Because you know when you in that school and you got no tape, that's we coming for you. Yeah. We yeah. coming for you heavy. But that's in the hood. That's in the hood. Like everywhere else, people don't nah, care about hair. Cause well, I mean, much. no, well, because everywhere else they have hairstyles. That's the difference. It depends on your ethnicity. Nah, I just I feel like it's the hood thing. No, no, yo, outside it. of the hood, nobody think checks it, for it, like, it, yo. It. People don't get tapes outside of the hood. Like they really don't. Cause like <sighs> you get a cut, you get a trimming. Like that's what you get. It depends on what barbershop you get. <laughs> So like, oh, uh, but uh, as far as taking that, <laughs> you got super cuts, and you got that one person just cutting hair and they're talking to people. First of all, outside of the outside of the, of the hood, no one goes to barber shops. They go to salons. Because they like, they, they, yeah. think about it, if you're running a business, you don't go to Tommy's like neighborhood to go put a barber shop. You don't because Tommy's gonna be like, yo, can you like shampoo my condition my hair? It's like, yo, buddy, I got like six people. <laughs> yeah, man, there's that. like this is place. Um, I was in George, and like, I was gonna went to get a cut day once. He said fifty bucks for the haircut alone. I was like. <laughs> what barbershop are you going to? Yeah, that, man. I was like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I'm Free good, homie. And then, because I'm telling you, I've checked different places. Those haircuts ain't haircuts, homie. They're like an experience. For dollars you better regrow my hair. And they're not even giving you a fade because they give me like a trimming. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like, they're not cutting, cutting. Yeah. But uh, as far as taking advantage of your looks, it's, it's definitely women, bro. I've seen some guys with some crazy crap. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something. And I'm not going to discredit women like, it's all, oh, they all, they all know they're pretty, so they take advantage. Sometimes they just, dudes are pervs or dudes are thirsty. Yeah. So women benefit more from their looks than men do. All right, but what about... Like, what about, okay. look, a dude will hire a secretary who's unable and unqualified because she's attractive. It's not her fault. It's his. But it happens. Okay, but... Well, okay, I'm, I'm, this is going to happen to one of you guys if you do this. I don't want you to do this. Have you guys ever had like that one girl... Oh, she's not that pretty, but you guys give a compliment and she stays on you the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. Like she doesn't leave you alone. Yeah, oh. I've been in high school. I've been in middle school. I'm telling you, I've been nice my whole life. I try to be nice. Yeah, my grandma. I've like always me. been like the type of person that, it, like, you know, if you're around me, I want to make you laugh. And so sometimes people would read that wrong. Like, there's girls who's been like, you know, like thinking that I'm trying to get at them, and I'm like, dude, you're not, you're ugly. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. And like, cause other girls, I think they're all that. But then there's girls who are like, oh, he's so nice, he's so great, and then they don't leave you alone, and you're like. I'm just you, thought we were cool, homie. Yeah, yeah, but that that's their fault. That's not your fault. You, I, I, I was, I'm always the person who thinks that you shouldn't change for anybody. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you see, in your case, it's different because for me, I have always been told I don't compliment enough. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't. Well, yeah, because, you're not nice to people. But you know, the thing is, you're not uh, nice to people. I don't do that. I, think, I saw you shake your hand once. I think that was the most contact. Guys, <laughs> it's like, señora. Yeah, but 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 you know, but that's just that's just how I am. Though. Like, I don't. Like, yo, I, I, when I give somebody a compliment, it's because, if I give a compliment, it's because I mean it. You know what I mean? It's like, you're really fresh out here. I think you were born in the dark. <laughs> I don't think you were born in the dark. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't feel like you were born in the dark and then lightning hit <laughs> your face just popped up. <laughs> nah, nah. You know, it... Born in the dark? Like, I, I don't know. You, you know what it is? A funny thing about that is that I, I think I also don't know how to give a compliment. You know what I mean? Because it's like... Like, okay, uh, for example, like, yesterday I see, um, I see, I see this person who I haven't seen in a long time, right? And I'm like, oh man, you look bossed up today, right? That's to me, that's a form of a compliment. Well, no, oh, no, because oh. because the person was like, the person was wearing like a suit jacket, like it, they're looking like, like you know, usually they're not wearing that. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, you looking bossed up? It's, it's not they're looking like a bum, but you know, like bossed up in the sense of like your attire has changed. You know what I mean? Man to me, that's like a. Uh, a compliment in a way. Yeah, you, but you don't see but like you see everybody the same. Like you don't see anybody different. Like you I, I see have, people like, in extremes. I think though. Like you're like yo. Like if you drive like 
<laughs> I've never seen you like treat somebody different for anything. Like I've always seen you like, yo, you're you, you're you, you're you, you're you, you, no matter like what. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I got you're saying like in, you, you're talking in the sense that I don't treat male and female. I I've treat seen them the you same. Slap up pretty women. Exactly. Yes. That, like, that's that's basically like, how I go down. I look at you like yo, like what yeah, you yeah. Mean? Like look, I don't. I'm not usually the person who's gonna go and hug you. Like when I hug you, it's because we have that kind of rapport. But it's usually like a girl comes and hugs like, me when or something girls like that. Hug, you have fast reflexes. Like I've seen you like. Yeah, cause I'm not. I'm not like you know for that. For, I'm not too in in that sense of like touchy. You know. PDA type of, again a girl comes I mean I'm sure you've seen it like like you know I'll probably hug like a specific person or something like that every now and then or whatever but it's not it's not common for me you to like do the whole you on me brother thing. yeah yeah you know it's not it's not too common like you know right you know you know I usually hug people who I like I I feel like you know the women I hug are the women that like give me a type of energy but I'm also careful about who I hug you get me like I won't hug certain people out of respect for certain people you get me like I will not hug Fatima like that and I'm sure you won't give a fuck but I would just won't hug Fatima more respect for you, you get me that. yeah because it's like you know again it, I don't think he'll take it wrong but still, like I don't, I don't need there to be any friction of any kind for no reason. Like, you get me? Like so, I, you know, when it comes to, especially when it comes to people's girlfriends, like, all right, let me just kind of like you know, be more uh, respectful. Unless we be, we've had a rapport for a long time before. You get me? Like if I known like you bef before, for example, like if I known you before you were with this person, that's what we used to do. Then that's a little bit different. You get me? Like if you have a problem with that, then we could talk about it, right? But if not, we're not. You know, I'm not gonna really be on that thing. Like for example, Cinnabisha, right? The Madrid Cinnabisha, I always hug her. You get me? Jackie, cool. Um, Jackie's cool ass people You know what I mean and, and Jackie comes I give her a hug I like her energy You know what I mean She gives me like Good ass vibes Like I feel like she's like One of those aunts Like one of my aunts type shit You know what I mean there's certain, Right there, There's certain people That I will give that hug Because I like the energy You know what I mean Again if I have a girl That's a friend of mine And she wants to come and hug me Sure you know what I mean But most of my girls That are friends We don't really do that like, For example China China me We do double tap on the fist That's usually how I say What's up to her You know what I mean Bam bam And I say I'm not really hugging on China Abby You know if Abby comes and hugs me Sure you know what I mean Like it's you know, we, we have the reports where we can't, but I'm not usually doing that, you get me? And with the homies, it's like the clap and then like, you know, the like the bro hug, hug yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, cause that, that's, a, oh yeah, but you're not a touchy guy though. No, no, <laughs> Ju like, Julian, Julian's like that too. Like Julian's not really touchy. Like Julian oh, barely yeah. will clap you up. Yeah, Julian yeah. will like leave without even clapping you up. But I understand that's how you are though. So I'm not going to like hold it against you either. I understand how you are. But if Chris left without clapping me up, I feel a little bit like, motherfucker, you in my house, you better fucking clap me up. <laughs> I'm going to text you. Yeah. Like, bitch, you better come back right now. <laughs> and I feel like my father, you so right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so it, it changes. Yeah, it, it's definitely contextual. Um, and it's like, I think you, you nailed it. it. It all depends on how your rapport with certain people has built up. Like, for me, I don't like hugs. But because I grew up in church, everybody in church hugs. I can tell you don't want to keep a so, hug. So, huh? When you, I can tell you, you so, look straight down. So, I, you, first of all, you, people, you know, people point out all the time. Yo, this man they go, Chris, I was church. waving at you. And, and literally, because I like to avoid contact, I always look down. Yo, like, I, I always look down because I don't, if I don't make eye contact, I don't feel obliged yeah. to like so so. But because I grew up in church, I give people everybody hugs and kisses on the cheek. Man, but I do sure. half hugs. Like few people in my life do I give a full hug to, and I would say it's my mom. I don't even give my dad a full hug. I give I literally before my dad, I just kneel down and let him give him a kiss on the forehead. Like that's the greeting for life. Yeah. Uh, and then Fatima get like full hugs. Mm -hmm. Everybody else gets a side hug because it's just like. I guess I gotta respect you as an older adult or older whatever, and young people too. Like I don't want you to interpret this wrong. Like if I give you a full hug, you might feel some type of way that I don't want. Yeah. And uh, people my age definitely like. When I've, did I've seen girls stop being okay. I I think it's just like it's. I it's, uh, I, I, it's, almost like for girls it's kind of like etiquette. Yeah, it's like kind of like etiquette. Like you gotta give people. Oh, like even one. I'm gonna tell you that specific one. Uh, one time somebody called me out because I actually give kisses on the cheek. Okay. Like, actually give kisses on the cheek. Okay, yeah. Because they were like, you know, Chris, you made me feel special. Okay. And I was like, what do you mean? Because you actually give me a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, yeah, You know, when you give a kiss on the cheek, what you really mean is cheek to cheek. Yeah, cheek to cheek. I actually go... Lips to cheek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do that with people that I fuck with too heavy. Well, you know, I do that normally. Oh, okay, okay, And so okay. then, after that point, I got conscious to not do it to everybody because they mm. might take it... Like uh, I'm being okay. Oh, you like mean, you're doing it to somebody like your age group. I was doing it to everybody. Like oh. if I give you a kiss, if I have give you a kiss on the cheek, I was yeah, actually yeah, yeah. giving you a kiss on the cheek. No, no, no. These are pretty boy But problems. no, no. But those are things. Yes. No, no. But it goes, it goes back it. to etiquette because if to me a kiss on the cheek is a kiss 
Oh, no, the cheek. No, no, but no, to everybody no, else, no. yeah, to get what's it like? Because it's literally self explanatory. What's a kiss on the cheek? You kiss on the cheek. Yeah. But other people were like, oh, snap, this dude kissed me on the cheek. And then I was like, maybe they're, in, they're interpreting it wrong. And then now I'm more like, side hug. <laughs> no, <laughs> Clap. Chris, let me tell you something. If I grab that pillow right now, put the rocks and smack it in the face, right? And everything just got deformed. You get kissing the cheeks, it's not different. Like, it's not the same thing. Well, yeah, he, he might have a good point. No, he might have a good point it's there. Not the same thing. He has a good point there. Hey, if you play basketball and your face and is on the ground, you know and what? Look like that, that'd Yo, be a problem. We'll, we'll dip into that for a minute. But it, to, to, to that point, yes. For me, I don't, I, I do the cheek to cheek to most people. I don't mind doing the lip to cheek if you're an older person. You get me? Who like you, we're aware that like it's not it's not gonna be yeah yeah because yeah. because it's like the lip to cheek thing is a little bit more intimate. Yeah. You get me? It's like you don't it's like you don't just kiss anybody on the forehead, right? That that's like the forehead kiss is like yeah. res, it's like a thing now that's like reserved for like special. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like that you give that to your girl. You know what I'm saying? Or like or like to love that that's like a love that's like a real love. Yeah, that's thing. like you, a real connection. Yeah, for you, sure. know, like you do that with the people like you love love. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. For me to give you a kiss on the cheek is like, yo, you got to be my mom or you got to be some. It's that energy. If you give me that energy, especially if you're older, you give me that energy, I, I, I can do that. You get what I'm saying? But I wouldn't do that necessarily to somebody my age group because that's almost like, ooh, like, am I? Because you might think that, like, I'm on another. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, and, I used to, like. I've realized that, like, that because no one does it when you do it, you're like the weirdo. Yeah. Which I'm like, yo, first of all, this is self-explanatory. Yeah. It's kiss on the cheek. Like, right, right. but but I, I had to learn those. And I think that's a hard part of social cues mm-hmm. is that, um, like, we don't all you're think the same way. Icon- like, you know, I, Jer- I think Jersey Jer- Jer- exemplified it perfectly. Like, you know, he knows I always give him a hug. I say, I love you or love you. So, like, if you don't clap a moment, that's Julian. But if I would be like, yo, I'm out of here. He'd be like, yo, you good, B? Like, you know, because I think it's a social cues that are so hard to understand. Like, it's so hard to deal yeah, with If this. I give you a hug, you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is that you understand that everybody's a little bit yeah. different. Yeah, I mean, like, everybody has their, their things once you understand that. Because, for example, like, for the, like you, like, you might walk in a room and let's say you don't say hi to nobody, right? Me, under, knowing you, I know that that's just you. Like, I don't think that, like, some people are going to look like, and they're going to be like, yo, who the fuck does this guy people think he is? People don't know me, coming? me down for that. Right, right, because they, they're thinking that your intentions are wrong. Me, knowing you, I'm like, yo, this guy's probably just thinking about, like, monkeys jumping around, and that's why he he was distracted on the way over here. You get know I me? Mean? So he didn't <laughs> think about saying what's up to you, because I know, I know you. And on top of that, you're a little awkward at times. So it's, it's like, so exactly. So I understand that, though. Most people that don't know you, they won't understand that. You get know I me? Mean? So it comes down... The elephant in the room because he's that big, <laughs> but he's just so quiet and awkward in the corner. And you know, so so, but to jump onto what you said though, right about about it being pretty, that's also a thing though. If you weren't a good-looking guy, then the kiss the kiss on the cheek, no girl will interpret like that. Or if they do interpret like that, they wouldn't bring it up how they brought it up. Like, oh, you make me feel special because if they were to do that, that's them opening up a bag of like, well, yeah, because you are special. And then they're gonna be like, oh shit, well, you know, like. Yeah. Uh, exactly. nah, I, mean, I, I, but I guess if you look at it that way, but I don't look at it. I just think, I just think it's more like a social cue thing. This is the whole like, oh, pretty people problems. They don't think about that. First of all, yo, don't be trying to boost my ego. George, my ego doesn't get boosted. George, look at him, right? Just look, bro. First of all, like I'm telling you, look. First of all. You guys can't do this. Like now that I thought about it, you guys are gonna get chased down. Like you guys can't do this, right? You gotta get like I'm telling you, you go to the park, grab some random dudes, and then we can just go do this. Because like Chris, if you, for example, let's say. Man, where are you now going to get smacked up at? Um, if no, I get I'm smacked at no, 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 it's like, going to be no, by Julius. Women. I'm going to be mad. I know you. Like, yeah, with women, like, yo, if guys smack you for what? Like, what the hell we do? I'm talking about, like, let's say you go to the mall, right? Um, Dolph, don't go to Dolph, bum. Um, go to, like, Aventura Mall, right? You got Aventura. And you start, like, talking to girls, yeah, and that, boom. Or, like, that's a problem for you guys because you guys look like that. Girls might, it's like perception. Like, for example, those girls that don't get that type of attention, two things in my head, I think. Yo, you're either trying to roast me like a little plan or like, yo, I look good today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's a difference. But like, for you guys to do that, it's like a girl will be like, oh my God, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Jesus, you blessed me with the man I'm looking for. And like, yo, I'm just trying to be nice. So like, that's a big problem because it's different for you guys. Like, yo, if a random guy kisses a random kiss, uh, kiss some girls, like, yo, we're friends and everything. But you guys, because they're already at face level, they'll be like, okay, you guys are attractive. So they're already thinking you're not going to give them attention. Automatically. Like, yo, they'll be feeling down about themselves. Like, oh, yeah, I have no chance. It's more with like, so, it's so, more of a guy mentality, so but girls I, do it too. Attractiveness means you shouldn't be polite. Means, means you shouldn't it's be polite. 
No, they're not being polite. But it's just like that's the difference, like the perception of it. Because like for example, George's guy in this world be like girls will be like, Oh, George, you're a player automatically. Yeah, that's true. That's and true. George will be like, Yo, I know George. He's like, a, like he stays down the street. Like he could be a player, but he's not really like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I know he got it like that though. That's but what I be like, saying. See, that's what I be saying. Different. I mean, he got it like that. I heard about you. I heard Some about kids you. Here, so. I heard about you. <laughs> Some kids <laughs> with beards. <laughs> <laughs> but you get I saw a little kid that looked just like Jorito. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Push-ups. I was like, yo, I know that. And I saw a, a little kid's name was Osvaldo. I was like, oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, but, yeah. but you see what I'm saying? <laughs> like some small kid with a beard. I am 100% sure that Julian was born with half a beard. Like, half a beard. I was a ball of hair when I was born. <laughs> like, like, you had me, diapers. You didn't have hair. You just had diapers. I rolled out. <laughs> I rolled out when I was born. I was just. <laughs> yeah, I just landed. Yeah, they try to smack you to cry. You're like, I ain't crying. <laughs> to go dumb. But, like, okay. but on 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 the surface level, I know what you're saying though. He's saying that girls, like even though it's a guy mentality, girls think alike, right? Which I could kind of see that, right? Like some girls might be like, damn, okay, like you know that guy's attractive, and like you know, there's a thing. There's been stories of like I've heard like, oh, she's always thought you were cute. I'm like. Well, I always thought she was fucking cute too. Why the fuck did I know about this? Because now I'm over here thinking I can't get you. You're thinking you can't get me. And this whole time we want each other. It's like, well, what the fuck? You know, nobody spoke up. And I and I, I get I get, I get exact, exactly where you're coming from. But at the same time, though. So that's pretty people problems. They both like each other, but they won't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, but it is though, like, you know, like when you're when you're in that light, right? Like, so for example, you, right? So you're a pretty boy. You're not really giving too many girls a time of day. You only want to give the pretty girls a time of day. That's it. First because, of all, because, first of all, yes, there's because, th- I have two objections here. Number one, I'm not a pretty boy. Number two, I don't. I've told you. Right, this. I, this I, I think people don't believe me when I say I don't want to give anybody the time of day. Well, not now. You're married. no, no, no. And I'm telling you, like in my life, because it's too much work. Well, sure, but li- li- you, because you know why you say that though. You say it's too much work because you're a pretty boy. If you weren't a pretty boy, got no play. You'll be, you'll be dying for that work. No, you'll be, no, di- no, you'll be praying no, for Donald no. Trump to not build that wall. This is hard work <laughs> what? beats talent. You're about to just throw it in there. Nobody doesn't hurt. work hard. That's literally the message of the story. <laughs> you're about to just do that like nobody heard you. Hold up. What do you say? Oh, okay. I said. You'll be praying for Donald Trump to not build that wall because you want that work. Like you, you don't, you don't, because look, th- no, th- but there won't be work, <laughs> huh? Well, think about it. They'll, they'll, yeah, but they come I'm over on this. Side. They're not working on that side. Have you seen what's been happening over there? Because like there'll be people like no papers and they curse. They're like, no, you're so beautiful. Boom, marriage, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah. I, that's a hustle though. Like, first that's, first that's, all, I can't knock your hustle. You want to make an easy fifteen twenty? Oh, m- ma- marry your way back. Marry a web and I can say that because I'm Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, not it's, it's not racist. Fuck out of here. I don't give a shit about that. You know, I don't give a shit about. That. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. You again? You want to make a quick fifteen twenty? Marry web back. That's gonna be the easy. That's not gonna be the easiest because you you no, run the risk of going to jail for a very long I can't time. Even but because I've recommended that on multiple occasions. Like, just, just cash right there. What do you do? I'm not gonna lie. I'll be saying the same thing sometimes, but I wouldn't do it though. But it's like, not worth it. It's what? I, no, it's not worth it. Like I was saying. Like, okay. I had a whole good topic, but then you brought my brain to like, yo, how are we going to stop the wall and stuff? Like, you got to stop doing that. Like, in my mind, like, yo, I, I have ADD. So, like, when you say that, it's like, well, yo, well, well. We're, we're on the topic of, of work. Like, I'm, I'm telling Chris that the reason why you don't want to work. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Right. Because you're good looking, you already got the yes. 15, 20 point game. Exactly. He People doesn't like care. Me, like, yo, we got to like, yo, I got to get to the gym 5 30 in the morning. The gym crawl, I got to be outside in the bummy park, shooting jump shots, miss a month right. to get a job. <laughs> you see? Right, right. Difference. But since you're already like <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> yo, I got to like, yo, where's my work ethic? <laughs> but you're not understanding. Yo, look, you brought me here, all right? But no, the point is that. Because you guys are good looking, you guys already have the mantle. Like, you guys, boom, you guys won already. All you have to do is determine, yo, whether or not, like, yo, I got 15 minutes to, like, waste my time with you. People like me, it's like, we got, we got, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I need a friend like you, or everybody needs friends like you in middle school. Because you're an ego boost walking around. That's what I do. Julian will be like, yo, jump off, jump off, jump off. By the way, which is fucking dangerous, right? Because yeah. I remember in my early days of like college, Julian would be like, "Yeah, yo, man, just talk to her. Look, say this, right? This do this, shit. do that, bro." Julian would tell me that I ain't gonna lie. Some of the things work, some of the things were dumb, but a lot of them were all like, uh, "It's like jumping from a building 
and you're hoping that the firefighters are there with a the trampoline. But that's, that's all it was. That's not fair because you guys don't like ugly girls. Huh? You guys don't mess with ugly girls. You just said there was no ugly girls. No. Is that is that the, the thing is that... I'm going to refer to I'm six. Well, four, first okay? of all, what, no, what is the ugly girl? Here's the girl? thing. You guys, like, for example, I've never seen you guys... Like talk to like a first of all you like supermodels you like girls yeah, like you like like yo everybody video likes girls. that though no, okay everybody but like, you likes have that. the ability to go ahead and talk to that nah girl. I don't once you get over like yo I drive a hatchback that that's over with that's <laughs> oh over no it's with. not the no, orange <laughs> gets like a belly yeah. it's over yeah, yeah, right. it is over because now it's gonna be excuse yeah, it might, oh, be God, little, might be a little might be a little bit maybe a little bit maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe live, like, maybe yo, live. that's the only thing stopping you. Like, George will be like, yo, that girl's literally like, yo, giving you the signal. Like, yo, come to my house. Like He'll be like, yo, but... I don't, I don't think so. Your parents' house has never stopped you. The, it's literally like the moment you get a yo, Benzo, you get a Lambo, it's a rap, homie. Like, you's a rap. Yes, it will be. I've yeah. had conversation with you like, yo, bro, talk to that girl. You nah, know, you know why? I think car. I think I've grown. I grown past that. That's why. Like, I, honestly, I think I think that I've. Ex- you know, I've been the. You know, you know me, right? You you know me. You you've known me for this for a long time, right? I'm the type of person that, and I told you this. I don't need to get it. I just need to know that I can. I know. If I know that I can, is enough for me, right? I know. I don't need to. So first of all, I don't need to do heroin. I just, I, because I, I understand what the feeling is. You get high or whatever. I don't want to indulge in it. Now I've indulged in some things, and I feel like I've understood it enough to like not be. Come on, Jill and kill him here. Keep this. Demon spawn. I swear, George is like, yo, I'm gonna get her just to the point to get married. Me, I'm gonna drop her off the street. Wait, what? That's who you are. I've never. George wants to be like. George is like, yo. You know what? I could probably get you. And I know you're going to leave your husband, and I'm just going to drive. Nah, you. I've That's never talked to a married person. I have rules. I have rules. You don't have rules. No, no. I've never, I've no, never done no, that. No, I, I know you like, yo, I have rules. I'm telling you, you're a psychopath. Or had her. Like, nah. you're, a bear, you're a terrible person. And, 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 like, <laughs> that I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, he's no, 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 I agree with him on that. You, and you know it too. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he's a bad person. When it no, comes I, to am. Women, I am. I am. You're I am. a very I'm terrible person. I am a bad person. And when it comes to women, you're just not human. Like, I don't understand you. Hey, all right, let's break this down. Tell me. Let's For talk example, about it. George about has the, that same statement he just said. Yo, I just want the ability to know to be able to get it. I don't even need you. I just need to know that you. No, no. I don't need to have sex with you. That's what I'm saying. I just need to know that. Sex is I available, ju- huh? Like sex is on the table, right? No, no, no. I, ju- I just want to. I just want to know that I can get you, it, it, but not by. You're I, ruling like, life not, here. No, no. But this, this, no, no. This is what I'm getting sure. at. When I say, when I say get you, I don't mean like I need to know I can, I can fuck you. I'm not Chris, talking about be that. Be the voice of reason here. No, no. Because no, listen, I listen. Try, I try. He doesn't no, listen. No, to me. he does not listen. What to I'm me. talking about by get you is yeah, yeah. your attraction yeah, yeah. to me. And once I know you're attracted to me, it's like okay, cool. If we have a conversation, then you probably will like me. And if and if and yeah, that's, yeah. And that's enough for me, because the thing is this: I don't need to and have I'm a conversation you with you to this lead is, you this on. This is literally the bottom line, right? George is confident enough to know that if you just look his way. If, if if he wanted to develop somewhere, it would develop somewhere. Nah, nah, yes. not like that. Yes, not like that. No. yes, yes. Yeah. Hey, George, First of all, Thursday barbershop? night, Thursday night went after the it's barber. Stumble. It's a wrap. It's George a wrap. Not make any eye contact. I'm George not gonna lie. Thursday night, I feel the best. Uh, I will say that. Stop him. I, th- I feel my. If you tell me, yeah, if, if you tell me what what day of the week you feel the best. Thursday, the day I get my hair cut, that I, I you can't talk. It's to every, I think it's every guy though. You can can you you, no. you can you say the same that you feel the best after you get a haircut? Nah, no, nah. Oh come on, are you serious? I, bro, you can tell I, I couldn't spend a month without getting Let a haircut. Let me tell you something. I once I get that haircut, I feel like unstoppable. Like and, and, and not in the sense of like I'm gonna get girls. I'm not talking about that dumb shit. I'm talking about like in the sense of like how I feel. Like I feel like shit. Yeah, like I like, feel good. Like, yeah, but the thing is that yo to you like. That tape line is everything. Yeah. yeah, but George's always been the person yeah. like, yo, I don't need for you to tell me I'm fresh. I just want to be fresh for myself. Like, yeah, yeah. No, but, but I was like just saying, like, George equates freshness with a tape line. Yeah, like, like if you don't got a tape, no, no, George can be dressed super nice. Like, there's weeks like Barbara going on vacation, right? He'll be like, nah, but I don't feel like doing nothing because I haven't got any haircut. Like, it, I'm like, what? I got that from him. <laughs> I'm not leaving my house. Yeah. Yeah, That's but wild. there's a difference. That's like, wild. I like, don't care. You, I wear a cap. You don't grow any hair. I wear a cap. For, like, wow. Like, you know, I'm not, no, that's a good thing. Because <laughs> like, me and you are different. If you don't get a haircut for a month, you're okay. If I don't get a haircut for a month, <laughs> we have, like, physical problems. My mom's not going to know that I am. <laughs> like, I have to go to my, look, I always say my barber, I don't know about you guys, I pray for my barber. My barber's part of my family. <laughs> I always text him like, "Yo, how are you? Are you good?" Because the day you die is a problem for me. No, no, this this is why you need 
uh backup plans no there's no backup plans oh yeah i have a back i already have my backup plan so the day i be i be waiting for my barber to do some fucked up shit so i could just leave this ass you know what i'm saying it's like it's like i'm that girl that's waiting for you to fuck up one more like cheat on me one more time so you already got a side cheat chick. On me. yeah well not, not a side chick it's like uh it's, it's, it's like it's like a it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah exactly so you have a project exactly yeah, yeah because because you know so the thing is that I've realized my barber has left out of nowhere. I'm talking about left. When I say left, I remember one time he left like indefinitely, like without even saying shit. Like he left to Georgia for like, yo, a fucking like three months or some shit like that. I was like, yo, what the fuck do I do? Like, actually, maybe not. Too, I might be excited. Maybe like a month or two. Bro, I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was depressed. I was like, yo, who the fuck do I go to? Now, now I have to like... I've never seen George without a bad tape. I've never I had to figure it out. Yeah, but nah, because... You know, the thing is that for me, I have short hair. So, I don't have a hair style. I've never seen him without a hairline. Yeah, because... because think about it, I have, If I don't have a tape and a fade, the shit just looks retarded. Because I have no hairstyle. If you have a hairstyle, it's a little different. You know what I mean? If like, you have a hairstyle, like, you have your, like, your hair to the side. So, if, sure, if your fade grows out, you don't care. You have a hairstyle. Me, bro, listen, bro. If, if my shit ain't right... I feel like, oh man, this shit ain't working out. And I ain't about to waste no fresh outfit for no reason. And that may sound shallow and fucked up, but I'm from Miami, so I gotta let me live. <laughs> <laughs> I let me just live in Miami's I, fault, not mine. Like, I've had that happen to me. Like, it deeply hurt me. Like, I was at the barbershop one day, and my barber disappeared. Like, he does, he was not at the barbershop. Like, he disappeared the face of earth. That's why I, I don't trust barbers have kids, because I'm not your first party. <laughs> like, you have kids. <laughs> but, like, you'll do my haircut, I know what you owe me. You're time fair, man. Do you have no, no existo I got half a beard. <laughs> I'll punch you. Like, my barber gone. And then that's like, that's three skins scaring me, like, of all time. Like, when you walk into a barbershop and you don't know nobody but your barber, and you gotta look around like, damn. I ain't gonna ask scary. That's good. Cause scary. then, like, yo, my barber's like my family. He's my uncle. Like, yeah. he doesn't know that, but he, I, he's here. Are we good? Yeah. So when he disappeared, it scarred me for life. Cause then I had to get a new barber, and all, I found him. Like, he's at the same barbershop, but for me, like, that is hard though. It's it but is. But the thing is that, like, I've been going to the same barbershop for like ten years, so I have backups in that barbershop. The only problem is that the backups in the barbershop are just as busy as my dude. Mm. So, like, if my dude is gone, the barber dude's like, yo, I can treat you in three to five hours, days, oh, three yeah, to yeah, five yeah. on me. Like, no, no. I, I, you know, only guy, I think only guys understand that. Like, yo, a barber to a guy is like the most yeah. loyal relationship he'll ever have in his life honestly like and the barber gets jealous too yeah yeah the barber i told gets him my barber was giving me crap yeah. he's like yo you cut your hair with somebody else didn't yeah. you i was like no of no of course of course like yo first of all look man my barber for me gets 80 dollars a month from me you get me that's 80 dollars a month paid for something i paid for your guys or something yeah that's something if i don't go to you for a month you missing something i guess you get me or, or maybe not i don't know you get me but it's a relationship where it's like you know you get something from me i get something from yeah. you and it's a a very clean clean transaction there uh, barbershop prices. What do you guys pay? Twenty. Well, now I'm giving thirty. I give twenty and ten and ten. Why are you giving twenty? I've, I've given twenty my entire life, so <laughs> you don't even ask anymore. No, I, don't even ask. I think that I've been with this. I've been with this guy since I was in seventh grade. So I mean, yeah, let's, 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 let's. I mean, this guy with seventh. How long is that? So I graduated twenty fourteen. That's like basically five years from now. Seven, five, twelve years. So I've been with my wife for like twelve years. I right? probably going on thirteen. So to be honest with you, like I've all look when I was little. I started giving him 12 bucks. When I got a job, I gave him 20 bucks. Maybe he charges more, but he don't tell me shit. So, and to be honest with you, he, <laughs> you know, no, 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 tell you, you, know, what, you know what it he is? He gives it's me like, a $20 haircut. I will say that. He, he, okay. So this is what he does now. Now he just gives me a fade because I've been letting my hair grow. He doesn't line up my beard. He only cleans this part up. He doesn't do anything else. Eyebrows. So he gives me a $20 haircut though. He doesn't put powder to do my tape. Yeah. He does my tape dry as fuck. There's times he puts water if he feels like it. Uh, so he, he's not like, Coming out with all the tricks like people are. You know what I mean? Like some people pay thirty bucks and they get the whole treatment. They get the whole Yeah, I mean spa. like if I if I wanted to get the treatment, it's only twenty five. I literally give them ten bucks a tip. Mm -hmm. Like just because I want like whatever, you know, like it's kinda of like a loyalty thing. But I think what George has managed to do, which I didn't know was possible with Dominicans, is like he has that T Mobile old contract. <laughs> that you know everybody yeah, else yeah. changes but not yours yes like you know yes. it's like I'm a spoken rule where like oh no your contract is legendary I can't yeah, adjust yeah, the yeah, price I think I've been with Robert so long he'll be like he'll be it'll, it'll be weird for him to be like yo I'm, I'm gonna charge 30 now I think it'll be weird for him but I think I'll, I see a lot of people give him money I can see people give him like 25 bucks 20 bucks all the time though so I think that's I don't think that's really changed too much 
Nah, nah, because so? no, so, 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 some things, no, some things. Remember, sometimes it's not, it's not the barber. It's, it's, they run the chair. Sometimes it's the whoever is, like in our in our barber shop, they went up the price, right? It used to be fifteen, so I used to give twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, now twenty bucks. So I I can't get twenty five bucks from an ATM. You can't. So I give thirty because I, I got thirty. No, no, I, no. And you get a ten. No, I give two twenties and then you give me a ten, and then boom, you're third. Yeah, but, but you got your beard done too. Yeah, I got everything. So done. that's why. Yeah, that's right. But uh, I give thirty because I just don't have change. <laughs> Who's gonna do my beard? <laughs> my grandma. No, no, no. no there's people who, like, for example, in your case, I see people all the time at my barbershop. They just get the the outline, but they don't cut, they don't trim, they don't nothing. You just get the outline on it. So, but yeah, barber shops, ugly that, people, that, that's all shop kinds talk, of things. Shop talk. Yeah. All right, man. So we talked about a lot of shit today. Uh, talked about barber shops. Uh, we talked about girls. Talked about I mean, all bro, types of shit. Julian needs to be part of this podcast, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, Julian. Yeah, I'll tell you. Julian has a good. I think Julian has a good perspective on. You know, I was telling him. I was like, honestly, you can low key be a comedian or at least a writer yeah. for a comedian. You can't. You know, um, you're sarcastic as hell. I don't know who tells you this. If somebody doesn't tell you this though, but. Um, everybody and I appreciate and I've always told Chris I appreciate people's points of views you get me because that's what this podcast is about right it's about I have a point of view you have a point of view you have a point of view and the thing is when you have people with different points of views talking it's always like you know friction yeah. in here and there and that's good but I love people with different points of view Julian's point of view is very very different from most people I talk Facts, to anyways you yeah. get me so if somebody hasn't told you that motherfucker I told you this first and I'm down alright so you definitely have a, a unique perspective for sure so we're gonna have yeah, a man, segment if you wanna be on this motherfucking yeah, podcast we're gonna have a segment on, where Julie we just get starts, you a third mic look Julie just starts doing stand up comedy for like three minutes yeah, 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 yeah. like this is how you can start yeah why not <laughs> why not I gotta let me know man we buy another uh, another audio technica joint you know what I'm saying I don't know we probably should buy another actually I should, we should probably should buy another mic actually just to like you know for guests for guests like yeah, backups why, yeah why not you know all right, guys. Again, if you listen to this and you thought that what we said was stupid, if you thought what we said was idiotic, if you thought what we said was depressing, uh, you're probably right. If you listen to this podcast and you thought what we said was smart. If, if you're you ugly and said, offended, we're sorry. Yes, we are sorry. <laughs> if you thought what we said was uh, genius. Um, <laughs> if, though, if you get offended, then you think you're ugly. I don't think you're oh, ugly because yeah, I don't know you. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you know, if... You, if, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast and we made you feel like doing something, you listen to I'm Down. Till next time, peace.